Okay, cool. Can you tell us a little bit more about Warland Weddings and when it got started? Hello, I'm Marcus. <laughs> um, so this year we're doing our 10 year birthday of Warland Weddings, but it actually started a bit before that. Uh, Rowan over there. Hello, Rowan. How's it? Um, how's it? <laughs> um, and I met back in 2008. We were studying somewhere. Um, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Love it. Um, and yeah, they put us in a pr- project team together, and Rowan had a brain flash and said, Next time. Next time, and then I'll go with him. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, um, Rowan suggested maybe we should start doing winnings together. So we did. <laughs> It didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Um, so my, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my sister came up with an idea and said, maybe you should do something a bit more focused on weddings. Um, and then we, yeah, because the other company was called something else, and I won't say the name, because I think people are still mad at us. Um, <laughs> Better not. <laughs> but yeah, and anyway, then we met this charming couple called Lazali Mannering, whose wedding was... On the 1st of May 2010, uh, that was when one of weddings officially got started. And then Ruan unfortunately had to go away for a while, but he came back in 2013. I just can't stay away. Yeah. <laughs> they always come back. Um, okay, awesome. So what is your funniest or most awkward moment that any one of you have ever had at a wedding? Please put the camera on Marcus. Yeah. Marcus? Okay. I've already answered one. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask you what was going Okay, there's a few to choose from, but I guess the one that will, that will always stand out for me. Um, a few years back, I was doing a wedding for, unfortunately, a very pleasant couple, nice people. And then the evening came, and I walked outside, and I saw a bit of a rigmarole in the parking lot. <laughs> and then I saw, oh, the two sides of the family are beating each other up. Um, it wasn't pretty. The, Groom's father's face got bashed in, the bridesmaid fell to the ground, and people oh were kicking goodness. her on the ground. That's, that's, that's. Okay, that's quite awkward. Does someone have like a really funny story <laughs> Well, it's it's awkward. I don't know if it's funny. We had a we had a very interesting couple uh, quite a quite a while ago. I'm I'm not good with the dates. Exactly but they the desperately wanted a, a chicken nugget photo. Like a lady in the tramp what? type thing. Oh, yeah. But with a chicken nugget. <laughs> it was, uh <laughs> yeah, it was cool. No, no. Oh, yes, I was here. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It's a Nicola, Nicola in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, the, the photo got I taken. Uh, got, yeah, and it was their favorite photo. Yeah, actually, they didn't select that one for the photo album, and they actually were furious about it. When, where's our chicken nugget photo? Oh, because it's, they insisted to have that photo. Fu- yeah. 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 So that's what they wanted. Seeing yeah. that play out live is it's, it's beautiful. It's something to be old. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyone else? Uh, I did a wedding with Ruan. Um, just outside Claymont, where one of the guests got incredibly drunk. Uh, she started licking the DJ. She then later licked me, and eventually ended up making out with the lens of my camera. It took us about 10 minutes to get oh. her lip gloss off the lens. How did you get her off of you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the question. Yeah. I just suddenly uh, sort of passed her on to someone else. Um, but yeah, she I wasn't very. That is a whole other level. Of she that. got very combative, and they tried to sort of keep her away from the bouquet toss because obviously she's going to ruin everything. And then after the bouquet toss, they got one of the more heavy set men at the wedding, and he literally picked her up, threw her over his shoulder, and carried her out. And I don't know what happened to her after that. We didn't see her again. Yeah, I know. She, Good times she disappeared. Oh, yeah, that was quite rough. Yeah. Um, I'm always, I'm always uh, responsible for before the wedding, so the hair and makeup, which happens, you know, when no one else tends to be there. And most brides are really nice, but I think the one day I was quite taken aback was we had a trial with this bride. She was super happy with the trial. She went home. Everyone loved it. So we're like, okay, cool. Same thing happening on the wedding day. I finish her hair and makeup, and her mother walks into the room. And she looks at her, and she goes, are you sure that's what you want to look like on your wedding day? <gasps> Oh, oh my goodness. And I sat there and I was like, this is what you had oh your chance. Head. You had your chance yes. at the trial to say this to her. And now on her wedding day, like you, you know, come and completely rip away her vibe. You know, so this girl, like, literally, energy was here. And then suddenly it was like crash oh landing. So then I was like, 
recovery mode, recovery mode. So while we were doing everyone's touch up style, I was like, you look beautiful. And I told all the bridesmaids to just like, and she did look great. There was really nothing mm. wrong with, but I just said, I was like, serious. Like, so then from then I was like, moms and people that have negative information, just yeah, get to moms, stay away. Stay you know, just, yeah. So that was horrible. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, that is yeah, terrible. No, no. Oh, <laughs> That is horrifying. <laughs> I could do a story today. Thank you. Well, I'll tell Natasha as in fact. Okay, but see what it is. No, but you obviously don't. Mox and I were doing a wedding at Kleine Salsa and we were busy sort of forming the bride, getting ready. <laughs> we we walked out and we see there's like a lot of commotion and, and stuff happening outside, like people are running around frantically and it turns out the catering truck um, hit the bride's father as he was crossing the road. Yeah. So they took him to the hospital. He wasn't badly injured, yeah. he just hurt his arm. He broke, he broke his he elbow. Broke, yeah, well, he's <laughs> not badly injured, he broke his elbow. He's alive. He just broke something. He's alive. Your elbow breaks easily. <laughs> he's alive. <laughs> he, he did actually walk her down the aisle. So, like, they took him to the hospital, got him back in time with his arm in a sling, and, like, he walked her down the aisle. Because he got trooper, hit by the coaching <laughs> truck. Yeah, that, yes. was, that was rough. Mm. <laughs> so, what is the advantages? in a company to use video and photo? Like, what is the advantages for that? I think just in terms of communication within the... Sorry. Sorry. Can I show you a photo for me, I think? Thanks, Dave. That's Megan. She's following. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Megan. <laughs> I think one of the main things would be the communication with in the two teams. Uh, we know each other, we work well together. Yeah. And also uh, quality control. You know what mm. you're getting. Uh, the okay. quality of the photos will be similar to the quality of the video. So it's, it's and always And it's just nice so much easier to book one company instead of yeah. dealing with two separate people. Yes. So it's just so much easier. So obviously Borland Weddings have very different packages. So they have eight hour packages, 10 hour packages. What would you suggest is like the minimum, the bare minimum that a bridal couple needs to book? Well, basically, we've got like the six hour one. That's more for elopement focused. Okay. So I would say eight hours is more than enough. Okay. If you get those couples, they want 10 hours because they want the drunk people oh, yes. to be recorded and okay. everything. But I think eight hours, eight hours are more than enough. So. Okay, cool. And for very religious ceremonies, would you suggest like, Ten a hours. little bit longer? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, because we actually yeah. had a wedding where it's like two ceremonies. It was like Hindu and uh, then a Catholic yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I mean the Hindu one... And a Catholic one, mass is like an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Like he got burned so badly. <gasps> I don't, I don't grow hair and then yeah. you're in the yeah, sun. But especially one. when you've got two ceremonies and obviously... But Catholic... Um, I'm going to say church. <laughs> Catholic ceremonies are longer as well than yeah. a normal because yeah. normally the the average ceremony time is about thirty to forty five minutes. Yeah, so. so that's probably stuff that you need to discuss with your couple like prior, like yeah. on a wedding day, uh, like on a wedding yeah. meeting, like yeah. you need to discuss mm-hmm. prior. Definitely. And anything that is a negative impact on your wedding day and the final product, like is there anything that you Uncle Bob's yeah. Uncle, Uncle Bob's, Bob's. <laughs> okay, so explain to everyone else what exactly is an Uncle Bob. If we set up for a shot uh, to get the bride walking down the aisle, for example, and everyone with exactly <laughs> everyone, everyone with that. the iPad or iPhone jumps into the aisle and just spoils the shot. Or confetti. Yeah, all confetti. All confetti. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the people that come along on the couple shoot with their iPads and their oh, iPhones, okay. and then they start <laughs> directing the couple to yeah. get shots that they want, and we're like. You don't know they hired people. They're paying people mm. to do this. You, you're gonna be fine. So, do you guys have any tips to make the process of taking photos on your wedding day easier, like to avoid like negative impact? Mm. Unplug ceremonies. Unplug ceremonies. Yes. And I also no think with the, it's not just with regards to photos and videos, but if, if uh, they can consult someone about a timeline that works, mm. instead mm. of just winging it on the day, yeah. it's like. Talk to your, your service providers about what time they would need for certain things yes. and then plan a, a detailed timeline with your service providers. Yes, yeah. that's very important. And also video-wise, communication between the videographers and the MC. Yeah. It's very rare that you, you get a proper MC that, that gets the, the gist of that. But like, if you're going to start doing speeches, um, let us know so we can set up. Because a lot of time we're outside filming something else and then someone starts talking inside you drop everything, you run in because you don't know what's happening and then they just want to go, 
um, by the way, the toilets are over there. <laughs> Good point. And they were like, okay, that, that, was, that was worth the effort. So, no yeah, it's communication for that. And I think, that. I think for my case, because I usually come in early in the mornings, it's very important that you tell your makeup and hair artists how many people need to be done beforehand. Yeah. Because obviously that's time that needs to be allocated. So if you tell me we need to be ready by 3 o'clock and yeah. we have... I've had weddings with up to 10 people. I need to know that I either need to bring someone else along to help mm. with the process or that we need to start at 6 in the morning mm. because that's, you know... So how many time or, or what is your time allocation for makeup? Uh, so usually for bridesmaids, I put around 50 minutes per person. I'm quite okay. fast, like, you know, you learn to. But with brides, I put two hours just so we have okay. time that when she looks at herself, she can say, mm, not feeling that, let's change mm. that. Because sometimes that does happen on the day when everything's together now, you know, because mm. then you see the earrings or you see the dress yes. and then you're like, oh, okay, no. I liked it previously, but maybe yeah. change it. Yeah. But I think also we do the bride usually towards the end so that the photographers and videographers still have those shots where she's busy mm. getting, you know, made pretty. So we usually awesome. do the bridal party in the morning. They're not that important. So <laughs> And then they're ready by the time they want to do the bed shots, usually that, you know, everyone getting ready together and that mm. kind of thing. But, oh, and also if you have um, flower girls, let them sleep in the morning and bring them later because the curls tend to fall out real quick because they're usually okay. very hyperactive because they're excited. So I would say keep those point. at home for as long as possible and then bring them okay. towards the end. The, the curls are the main yeah. reason, right? Well, yeah, that's because of the curls. Okay, so on a different topic, do you guys feel that engagement shoots is needed? Definitely. And if so, why? Definitely. Because not only do I get to know the couple, but they feel more at ease with mm -hmm. me as a photographer on the wedding day. Because yeah. yes, I do do weddings where I haven't met the couple before, mm. but then it's not awkward. But it's still, not, you don't have that connection yet. No, you you, ha you haven't built that relationship exactly. with the couple yet. So mm. it's so much nicer when you know them beforehand, and you, and you also look forward to seeing them again on the wedding day. Because mm. I've always got like the nicest couples. Mm. Met, oh, no, always nice. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I, I think it's not the not so nice. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's like really important. And I think you, you get to know them yeah. differently on yeah. an engagement yeah, shoot than you would on level, the, yeah. a stressful wedding day. So yeah, yeah it's a very nice just building a relationship with the client. Yeah, they feel more yeah. at ease as well yeah. on, on the wedding day. They're not, not yeah. stressing about it. Mm. With the so engagement it. shoots is definitely a good idea then. Okay, so with that being said, how much, I know this is quite a varied topic, I can go either way, but how much how much budget would you say is necessary to be allocated like percentage wise of your entire package like 20 percent 30 percent of your entire wedding budget or would you feel like there is a set amount that you with the price of some of the the service providers uh, a percentage is a very difficult thing to say because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah the thing is nowadays you can uh, have any kind of budget you like. So if you have a thousand rand and you go on Facebook and say, um, <laughs> um, I have a thousand rand for my wedding photos, you're going to get a hundred replies easily. Mm. Yeah. Um, I can't say you're going to get anybody of quality, but I mean, you're going to get someone. Uh, and yeah. yeah, and because, um, um, I mean, everybody gets mad, you know, gets mad at those people, right? and I, I get why, but at the same time, you, know, uh, you have to ask, okay, not everybody is going to have 20, 30, you know, 10, 20 thousand rand to spend on. Uh, yeah, that's, that's why I'm sort of mm -hmm. going, say for instance, you have a budget of, 50 grand for your entire wedding mm. how much of that should be allocated to a photographer because it's very difficult to say you need to allocate 5,000 or 30,000 because people's budgets mm. vary mm. so how much of your actual entire wedding budget would you say is crucial to be allocated towards your photo I think events? that's all going to depend on what you value most of your wedding day mm. if you want the venue to look stunning and that is the m most important thing for yeah, you I then most m m yes, more money would go absolutely. to that mm. if you want stunning photography make sure you get mm. someone that knows what they're mm. doing and that based on that photographer's price range that is the amount you're going to yeah. allocate so you because you want the good photos uh, how, um, yeah, however that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't always work because if you're going to spend half your money on a photographer but then you neglect the hauler it's still good yeah, the photos yeah. look yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can only do so much with, the, yeah, we can only work yeah. with what they have um, I get that. I think just from what I've heard is, I think what's important is, especially if you do value things that look beautiful, I think having someone that captures that well for you, because on the mm. day it's such a rush. I mean, mm. you usually, you start at six in the morning most of the time, then you only start get, like you're done by three o'clock, then the ceremony starts, mm. and then the night just runs past you. Everyone wants to say yes. hi. You, as a, as a couple, I think, barely 
get the chance to just look at yeah. what you've yeah. done and what you've organized, yeah. what you've planned for probably like almost a year or more. Yeah. And so I think having that person capture all the little the little candles and the little like yes. later if you can sit back and rem- like reminisce yeah. a bit on that, I think that's what you're paying for. It's yeah. just the chance that you can show that. I mean, I saw my parents' yeah. wedding video the other day. And <laughs> and how was it? Not, I mean, they only had one angle, but I mean, for me, like being, you know, being from a close-knit family, it's so nice getting to see your young lots. parents. <laughs> can I say something? I told Marcus this. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's why my parents got divorced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I? I've seen those wedding pics. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this. <laughs> That is why. <laughs> sorry, Do just, you feel the divorce could have been avoided by a good photographer? <laughs> <laughs> yes. sorry, sorry, just and then maybe just from, sorry, budget-wise, from the hair and makeup perspective, because mm. those prices can also range anything from... It can also range anything from 200 rand to I've seen budgets of like yes. 7,000 rand for bridal parties. And that's fine if that's mm. what you want to. But fine. most of the time, I always say, look at, don't just go by price. Like look at their portfolios, mm-hmm. look at mm-hmm. the photos or their work from before. Mm-hmm. And then if you can afford to have a trial, just so you can see if I like the way it looks on me or because a lot of people have this idea of what they want to look like. But when that exact makeup is applied to their face, they realize yeah, it's not it's necessarily story. their yeah. type or style. Or a lot of women have this dream of big curls, but then they have very limp hair. So I just mm-hmm. tell them like, it's not going to happen. You know, you need mm. extensions or it's just that it's not going to look that way. And I think that's like what trials I think are very important for hair and makeup. And then I think look at the... Um, look at the portfolio work and then get a lot of quotes and then decide like shortlist that for yourself to see what you're willing to pay to look nice on your day and do you guys have any suggestions on how to choose your videography and photography team or or would you say it's pretty much based on budget and personal preference or more budget more personal preference i think it's a combination of the two yeah yeah obviously if you look at some of the more expensive photographers you'll love their photos but if you can't afford it you can't afford it Mm. so Okay. It depends yeah. Yeah. on what you're willing yeah, to. Yeah, it's trying to, to get the for. best for what you can yeah. afford. I would, I would say, don't just go for the most expensive because you want the, mm. because it's not necessarily the yes. best or it's not yeah. necessarily what you want for what you want for your wedding. Yes. And don't go for the cheapest because that's yeah. also not necessarily yeah. what you want. Another, uh, another, another important thing is make sure you actually have have chemistry with your photographer. Uh, yeah, um, I think that's very. Important. You can have a very expensive photographer. These photos might be great, but you might make your wedding day awful look because you just don't like it right? yeah. Um, along with him. yeah so that's very important sometimes um, people but just don't go. I've also like we've it's also turned fun down fun. a wedding because we didn't feel we could match their style because mm. I think the, the groom or the bride the one was like an architect and she was like we want architectural pictures I'm like that's not my style mm. Mm. yeah mm. Not so we actually turned her. it down because I couldn't match her standards mm. Mm. Yeah, so don't, don't sell a service that you can't provide exactly yeah. Don't expect a service when that's not what they're oh, advertising. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or be, don't be completely unrealistic. Yeah. Like people that want like Hollywood quality wedding videos, it's not. It's it can it can happen if you're hiring if there is if, or yeah, if you're you're hiring, hire. Or um, or people that we blood. we cannot make you look thinner. <laughs> we cannot make you look thinner in your wedding video. Oh yeah. This is not this is not is a this dream still works. Actually a yeah, yeah, yeah. People are very insecure. The way the way you look is the way you're gonna look. Mm-hmm. We, Technically we can but we have to start that video like about uh, ten years ago. Yeah. 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 And we'll never yeah, we'll never have, uh, do another one, it'll be uh, that one for the rest of our lives. Yeah. We, we don't um, we don't have a CGI yeah. department yet. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, you also I'm I'm only got this request once, but <laughs> Um, I can't ch- change your voice in the video. <laughs> um, if you, yeah, um, I had one couple who said they, you know, she doesn't like the South African accent, and uh, so she would like me to uh, change her accent to something else. <laughs> can't, okay. can't do it. Right. <laughs> no. Also, if one of your guests walks past the camera, we cannot remove them. Oh, it's, it's, it it, it's, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot remove them. Do you them. guys get that request? Yeah. Can you remove a guest out of the video? Yeah, can you take a guest out of the frame, please? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, it is. People just really, honestly, don't know. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know. No, they don't. But you just tell them. Sorry, yeah. I cannot do this. <laughs> this is not practical. Okay. Right? So, last question. You guys do a bride of the month competition every month. Tell us about that. Well, it was basically Marcus's, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus's <laughs> initiative. Um, so basically, all our brides, video or even makeup now. Huh? Video makeup, or if we did your pictures on your wedding day, you can just enter our Brother Month competition. You can just actually just comment or whatever on one of our posts, and then 
you get a chance to like win a photo shoot with us. So awesome. Yeah, but Marcus, you can't come here for that. No, but if you have like a ten year a ten year anniversary special running for the bride of the month thing, yeah, tell us about the this month's competition. Tell us about this month's competition. You can do that. It's your, you're choosing it. <laughs> right, so choosing that, but it's actually a relive your wedding competition. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, cool. we're really excited about that. But that's probably more. Yeah, we'll share more on Facebook about that. Mm. So. Cool. Cool. Then it's around. Who is? Sorry, can I answer this now? Uh, yes, yeah, someone, yeah, yeah. someone keeps calling me. Uh, said, yeah, thank you. Lovely being on the show. Yeah, but it's not so good. Not so. Mid bride of the month. I'm going to put the camera up here. Ja, 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 